what is the tree of death? As also with the Kabbalistic tree of life diagram, it depends on who you ask. A.E. Wade established a base 10 tree of death with 10 cortices opposite the 10 sephirot emanations on the usual base 10 tree of life diagram. Kenneth Grant of the Typhonian OTO also provides base 10 models enlisting the orders of demons and devil kings associated with each cortex of weight. Crowley, for his part, provides the Cliffoth Sui Generis as the 22 paths on such a base 10 model in his Liber 22. In his 1996 Magician's Workbook, Volume 2, on Goetic Evocation, Kabbalah scholar Steve Savidow posits a different model for a tree of death with only seven cortex vertices and 12 paths or edges. In my own work, I combined these two lattices, the base 10 tree of life model and Savidow's base seven tree of death diagram into a new arrangement with 17 vertex corners and some 34 edges or paths. I called this arrangement graphically the Jacob's Ladder Lattice Array, and in my work, The Tree of Death and the Cliffoth, I assign all the adverse attribute traits to it of Crowley, Waite, Grant, and Savidow. I call these adverse arrays on the Jacob's Ladder Lattice the Saint Simon for the evil traits in Hebrew and the blind dragon for the same traits in English. Dualistically, it stands to reason that if there is a tree of life, there must also be a tree of death, but mythically, this is not necessarily the case. In the myth of Genesis regarding the exile of Adam and Eve from Eden, one of the seven curses God places onto mankind and the serpent is that the tree of immortal life that Adam and Eve were given to enjoy in Eden would now be blocked off from them by an angel with a flaming sword, and they would be cursed to only partake of the tree of knowledge thereafter, known in place of it as the tree of life model of the Kabbalah. So, in paradise, the model of the tree of life we have now would have signified the tree of knowledge, and Savidao's tree of death array would have signified the original tree of life.